Hi, my name is Olaf Krigolson, and I'm a neuroscientist at the University of Victoria. And in my spare time, I'm that neuroscience guy. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the primary visual cortex. Let's start with its anatomy. The primary visual cortex, or area V1, lies in the occipital lobe at the back of the brain. This is where visual information comes from midbrain regions for further processing. The receptive field in area V1 is an accurate representation of the receptive field of the eye. Research has shown this clearly. Here you see a visual image at the top that was clearly recorded and encoded in area V1. The primary visual cortex receives visual input from the thalamus, specifically the pulvinar nucleus and the lateral geniculate nucleus. These two midbrain nuclei, the pulvinar nucleus and the lateral geniculate nucleus, do some early visual processing before information is sent back to area V1. Once visual information leaves area V1, it projects primarily to area V2, the next stage in visual processing. The primary visual cortex? Function. Neurons in the primary visual cortex encode low-level visual information. For example, here is a neuron that encodes the orientation of a given stimulus in the visual display. Other neurons in the primary visual cortex are sensitive to the direction that a given stimulus is moving. Neurons in the primary visual cortex are also sensitive to spatial frequency. Here you see a low spatial frequency on the left and a high spatial frequency on the right. The neurons in the primary visual cortex are organized into columns and hypercolumns. The orientation columns, as you can see, progress from left to right, whereas the alternating columns represent the left and right eye, respectively. This leads to ocular dominance, the fact that one eye might encode the information to a greater extent than the other. Neurons in the early stages of visual processing in area V1 also encode color. As visual information flows through area V1, and you get to the later stages of processing in this neural region, Neurons are sensitive to edge detection, as you can see here on the right. One of the main purposes of processing in area V1 is to establish image contrast through filtering, separating low-level image frequencies from high-level image frequencies that help with object identification. My name is Olaf Krigolson, and I'm that neuroscience guy. You can follow me on Twitter, at that neurosci guy. Thanks for watching.